We begin with calls for change after a horrific crash outside of a middle school in Roseville. So good to be with you on this Friday. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 5. I'm Brian Abel. 12 year old Julia Grace Wallace in critical condition in the hospital with a severe brain injury. She was walking to Roseville Middle School when she was hit by a car at Martin and Par Barkman. Now her family wants action so this doesn't happen to another child. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham in Roseville with that plea from Julia's family. I spoke with the aunt of Julia Grace Wallace, who says the girl's mother doesn't want what happened here to be in vain. It's just been so touching that so many people are praying for her and are with her and are trying to give her that strength to come back to us. Balloons mark both sides of the crosswalk where Julia Grace Wallace was hit walking to school Tuesday morning. It happened at the intersection of Martin Road and Barkman Street. As Roseville police investigate, so far they say the driver who hit the middle schooler has been cooperative and that witnesses don't believe he was speeding. Despite that, I'm told 12-year-old Julia is in the hospital with a severe traumatic brain injury in critical condition. Her aunt, Julianne DeBlue, tells me the pedestrian walkway outside the school simply is not safe as is. They need to get something there. It's just, it's, it's too imperative. Um, and in, in too dangerous right now to not have a four way stop or um, something there, a, a crossing guard. We've had so many parents that have already volunteered to be a crossing guard until this can get handled. While we were there, parent Sheila DeVeas put on a new orange vest, volunteering to help kids cross as they let out of school. I saw what happened and I just, I would never want to see a child get hit by a car. I'm really surprised at a place like this. Let's have a crossing guard. Until something changes, what is your message, if you have one, to the drivers on that road? You have to pay attention. Put your phone down. Pay attention to the speed limit to people in front of you. The city's deputy chief tells me police are meeting the beginning of next week with city engineers and the Department of Public Works to look at how they can enhance pedestrian safety near all schools. He says they'll be looking at what other cities are doing and what devices are being used. And he says he believes they've already secured the funding to make those upgrades. In Roseville, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.